Hey friends. Hey. Welcome back to another meal prep video. Instead of our, um, what do we call those? Energy balls Energy that balls. we usually make. They're called protein cookie dough balls. And I'll link the recipe below. It's from the Honor System. And well, I've never made them before. So I hope they're good. I can't open that. I forgot that I tried. So it starts off with... Um, easy ingredients, vanilla protein powder that I can't open, <laughs> peanut butter, maple syrup, but I'm going to use agave. I am not a maple syrup, 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 which there one do you go. say? I'm not a maple syrup fan, so agave. And I'm using mini chocolate chips. You can put dark chocolate. It says chocolate chunks. Eh, whatever your heart desires. Um, it also says that um, to start off with three quarters of a cup of protein powder because all protein powders absorb ingredients differently and then you can move up to a cup. So I'm going to start with three quarters of a cup of protein powder. In my younger days, I would actually take about eight scoopfuls of these and put it in water and drink it. It was very nasty. Flavored or unflavored? Um, I think it was just, I don't remember being flavored. I remember it stinking. This smells good. It was not that then. <laughs> so it must have been unflavored. Can you get me the cooking spray? Yes. Okay, the easiest way to get peanut butter out of a measuring cup is to spray it first. So this is a half cup measuring cup. I sprayed it. We need a half a cup of peanut butter. This is my favorite peanut butter. That is true. Scoopy thing. Because it fits in the container so well. You could eyeball this, but since I've never made it before, I'm going to make sure that I know kind of what we're doing. So it's a half a cup of peanut butter. And we don't have any fancy natural peanut butter. All right, so half a cup of peanut butter. You're going to stir this up. Yes, I am. So this is kind of like Buckeyes. If you've ever made Buckeyes, look at that. It just came out, um, which is peanut butter and powdered sugar. And you mix that together, and then you dip that into chocolate. Um, but this is, instead of the powdered sugar, we're using energy powder. I have never made Buckeyes. Yeah? Really? That I'm aware of. Half a cup of syrup. Syrup? I already said that. Which syrup. one do you say? I say syrup. I think I do too, what, but everybody in my life says syrup. 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 That's they were on. I think you could say it both ways. I don't think anybody's mm, wrong. I'm pretty sure there's only one way of saying that. <laughs> and it's the syrup. 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 No syrup. Garage. Garage. That's the wrong too. <laughs> only if you're uh, in, so, in England, you're right. the guy, God, or Boston, I guess it is. Yeah. Where'd you put the lid to this after you got it off? Over here. All right. I'm gonna put the lid on this because I'll drop it and then. Protein powder. This is the brand that I have just because it was at Sam's Club and I heard good reviews. Dimatize. It's the first time we've used it, so I hope it tastes good. So you and you will find that your muscles will be increasing exponentially the more you use the protein powder. Good. More? Uh, I think it needs a little more. So right now the consistency is I, I, I think that I couldn't make balls out of that. Okay, so I put three quarters of a cup, so we don't want to put another cup, quarter cup in, because that would be, I'm going to put maybe that much in. Okay. Stir it around. You want it to be the consistency. Cookie dough? Yeah. It's sure. actually uh, becoming like cookie dough. And a half a cup of, I'm um, using mini chocolate chips. There you go. And that's it. Mix it up. We're going to put it in the refrigerator so that it's, I don't think it says that in the recipe to do, add chocolate chunks, roll. It says roll it and then freeze it for 15 minutes. But it is a consistency of right. cookie dough. But I'm going to go ahead and put it in the fridge so it's easier to form into balls. While we do the rest of our meal prep. So, this is our new... 
sweet treat for the week. I may wish that I had doubled it, but we'll see. So that's what it looks like. Cookie dough. Yummy. Back to the cookie dough protein balls. And they're like cookie dough. Roll them into a ball. And that's all you do. We're going to switch and we're going to take a video of Mike's reaction to these. What do you think? Okay. Really good. Yummy? Yeah. Does it taste like protein powder? No, it doesn't taste like, um, kind of like cookie dough-ish. Oh, it, the title is cookie dough. Oh, well, then there you go. It meets its uh, name. Mm-hmm. Yeah, really good. I like it. I think we could add, I'm going to play around with the recipe. I think we could add some oatmeal yeah. to, to expand them or chia seeds or all so of it. Or just add protein powder to the other recipe I have. Mm. Hmm. Let's yeah. try that. Two thumbs up. This morning, I put a turkey breast in the crock pot. I was going to film that, but we had a little snafu with our furnace. We woke yeah. up and it, it was cold. It wasn't working. Yeah. And although it's warmer in Arkansas, it got to, I don't know what the temperature got to last night, but it was 66 in the house this morning. Yeah. That's cool. not real cold, but it was cold. A little so chilly. Right tried to fix there. that. Ended up, I threw this in the crock pot right before church. So I did get some pictures of it. Really, it's so easy. You put the turkey breast in the crock pot mm -hmm. <laughs> and you put a bunch of seasonings. I use salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder, paprika, the st parsley. The staples. Yeah. Just as much as you think you want because there's a lot of meat that you're cooking in there. Um, I added a little bit of water. You can add um, chicken broth. I always use those chicken granules and I just didn't have time to mix it up because we were running late. So I just put like half a cup of water in the pot, turned it on low for eight hours and it is done. So uh, you, it will now just come off of the bone. Just mm -hmm. pulls off of the bone, all this turkey meat. We will use this turkey. Um, I'll make turkey salad for his lunches. Yeah. Uh-huh. And this week I'm going to add the cranberries or craisins and almonds. Um, we made this turkey because we didn't have a turkey for Thanksgiving. Uh, here. Here. We had it at our daughter's house. Um, he, what did he do? Our, our son-in-law smoked it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was really good. Chef's kiss. Yes. Chef's kiss. <laughs> so right now, I, I am just pulling the meat off. Literally, it is just coming off. It takes no amount of skill. It's yep. just coming right off. Hopefully the other camera is picking this up because I am just picking up the meat. Um, we'll also use this in other dishes. Spaghetti squash. Spaghetti squash. <laughs> I'm going to make a spaghetti squash in a few minutes and have that ready. I have you know a lot of uh, rehearsals this week, so I'll be gone. Mike is capable of cooking I on am. his own. I am capable of but, cooking. But um, having some stuff ready because he goes to the gym after work is uh, helps. Mm-hmm. It does. Okay, so. Having turkey. He loves turkey. I'm a turkey connoisseur. Tonight we're actually going to have turkey Thanksgiving ingredients. I'm going to make some stuffing. And we have some mashed potatoes that I made in the freezer that I'm just going to thaw out. Because sometimes we make too much, and then you have it, and you just thaw it out. That's easy. You want to do everything easy so you don't stop at your neighborhood um, quick shop. I don't know what we have here that we would stop at. It was Hy-Vee Fast Food Fast and Fresh or something Yeah. in Iowa. I don't know what it is here. Um, Taco John's. Don't stop at Taco John's. I don't think they have it here. <laughs> We have some great um, meals to show you um, that are 
take the place of going out and getting um, takeout. You don't need to do takeout. We do sometimes. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, we do. While we're waiting for the chicken to cool so I can make the chicken salad, we're going to go on to making the spaghetti squash. First thing we need to do is cut it in half. And they are a little bit more difficult to cut um, because they're pretty solid. So I have a pretty sharp knife and I'm going to attempt to cut this in half. Oh, look at that. I see that. It's cracking. Yeah. Voila. Voila. <laughs> and then you have to take out the insides. The guts. Kind of like a cantaloupe, but this is not a cantaloupe. I'm only going to take out the a little bit of the seeds because that's the stuff you want to eat. So you scoop out the seeds. I debated on how to, to make the spaghetti squash in this video because there's a lot of ways to make a spaghetti squash. You can bake it. You can put it in the microwave. I've done that for years, and it does better than salmon. But I'm scared of my microwave. So <laughs> the Instant Pot is the easiest way. 100% the easiest way. You could be taking the seeds out of that. Well, I was having a little flashback of uh, uh, my, my mom used to make this. Uh, I don't know what she would make because squash, I, I was, was uh, spaghetti squash, I would never eat. It wasn't so, spaghetti squash. It was probably acorn. I don't know what it was for. My but, mom never made spaghetti squash. But I remember her baking the um, seeds. Oh. She would uh, put them on a pan and bake them. And my dad would eat them. I did not eat them. Hmm. But, uh. Okay. I, that, yeah. So I don't know. Good memory? Yeah. I mean, well. You didn't eat it. I didn't eat it. So. He eats it now. Uh, yeah. I didn't. He loves to be yeah, I would not have touched it back so, then. So. Now he eats it a lot. We eat it a lot. Um, you can add this to your spaghetti noodles. Um, the kids. Might not even know it's there. That's what people say, although I never did it. So you're going to put one cup of water in the Instant Pot. Then you're going to put your trivet in, which I have no idea where my trivet is since we moved. So I just made two. I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, aluminum foil balls. After you put the trivet in, you're going to set these on top. Top of the trivet, right? Doesn't matter. However they go in. After you put them in the Instant Pot, you're going to set your Instant Pot for high pressure manual cooking for just seven minutes. And when that's done, you're going to do a quick release. That means you go, you release the valve and it lets out the steam. Okay, we're back with the spaghetti squash. That's what it looks like. It's hot, so I take tongs. And put it on the cutting board. See inside the, put it on top of foil because I can't find that. So then you just, look at that. You just peel it off. I'm going to put it in this container and then heat it up as we use it. Um, we have done, of course, Italian style with um, spaghetti sauce and I, I'll probably do a video and show you what I do that for that because um, I don't buy jarred spaghetti sauce we've also done Asian inspired spicy spaghetti squash oh it's so good so good and all these you can you can add protein to it chicken pork beef turkey um, whatever your little heart desires so here's spaghetti squash this is what I made with the spaghetti squash I mix the spaghetti squash with a can of tomato sauce, oregano, basil, garlic, onion powder, pepper, parsley, a little bit of red pepper flakes, and mix that all together. Put it in a, an 8x8 pan. I added some Parmesan cheese, a little bit of mozzarella cheese, and then I topped it with bare naked chicken strips. If I had more time that night to cook, I would have used chicken breast that we did on the Blackstone or in the oven or in the air fryer. 
Um, but that night I needed something quicker and it was yummy. If you haven't guessed from the couple of videos we've done on meal prepping, I love meal prepping. We do. I don't know if he does. <laughs> so I'm going to shred this. I don't mind meal prepping. I like the result of yeah. meal prepping. And I like that he does it with me. When I, I did, used to do it by myself, but it wasn't as fun. And it takes a lot longer when you do it by mm -hmm. yourself. But that is how you eat healthy and don't. Go to uh, Taco Bell or John. So, not Taco Bell. Taco John's. I don't Smack go to either. On that one. Um, my hands are clean. And this is the easiest way to um, shred this. And it's really moist. If you've never made turkey in a crock pot, mm -hmm. you are missing out. It is really good. Is it better than an oven roasted turkey? Mm. Some of my children would say yes because they didn't like turkey. And I'd make it in the crock pot, and it's moist, like fall uh, apart. I would say it depends on how you cook. If you're, if you can cook a good turkey in the oven, it does not beat it. But if you, I can. if your oven, you wish you can. If your oven is, um, when you pull it out, is dry. No. Yeah, I hands down the best way to make a turkey in the oven is with a, a food bag, yep. a cooking bag. Cooking bag, yep. I have tried other ways, and although it does get you a, a good turkey, it's not as good as um, cookie, the bag turkey. Cooking it in a bag. Okay, step one. All right. While I'm making this salad, I am going to tell you um, a couple things about our Thanksgiving traditions in my Italian family that shocks people when they come over. I remember my best I friend, was, oh. Melissa, was like, spaghetti for Thanksgiving? Yeah. Yes. Of course, you have spaghetti pasta with every holiday. I was shocked. Yeah. Okay, so, oops, I didn't shake up the mustard. Shake your mustard. This is just yellow mustard. You can use Dijon. Um, what is this? A uh, couple cups, two and a half cups of meat. I don't cook by measuring. It's probably three tablespoons of mustard. Mustard is healthier than the mayonnaise that I'm going to put in. I'm going to put a little mayonnaise in. I was going to put an avocado in. It was not a happy avocado. So The first holiday that I went over to their house uh, for Christmas, wasn't it? Easter. It was Easter? Probably Easter, when you normally have ham, pepper. Yeah. I don't know. I we met in February. No, that's true. I just was not prepared for the meal. I was a little shocked and like, why aren't we having this? Why aren't we having this? Why is spaghetti here? We had ham. <laughs> he just wants a turkey at every holiday. It's because the turkey should be at every holiday. Okay, so I just put a couple tablespoons of um, mayonnaise in here. If you want more, you of course can add more, but we try to mindful eating. We think about everything we put in our food. Um, does it need a cup of mayonnaise in it? Maybe. <laughs> but it's going to be tasty with this little bit of mayonnaise. It would it's going to hold cup up. Of salad dressing. Oh, we are not like having that discussion again, <laughs> considering I'm using mayonnaise. Okay, so he's requested cranberries. Yes. Last In week. In honor of Thanksgiving. Uh, craisins. Last week he didn't have ch uh, chicken salad, or if he had, I made turkey and cheese yeah, on turkey and cheese. the same bread we always use, the Sara Lee 45 calorie delightful bread or something like that. Yeah. Um, and stuff. I'm going to put almonds in this week. For crunch. That little crunch is good. Uh, that much? Quarter cup? Yeah. Looks good to me. You can add any seasoning you want to add. You can make, I've made half chicken salad, half egg salad. Mm hmm. That Mix good that too. up. That's good too. So this is the salad for his lunch. 
Here we go. It's going to be yummy. You want to taste it? Uh, yes, please. Mm. Yummy. Okay, it's like a little Thanksgiving dinner in my mouth. Protein packed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I think that's all we're going to prep tonight. I have more things that I'll prep, but I'll probably wait till tomorrow morning. So subscribe and like down here, wherever that is. <laughs> Hit us up on uh, Instagram and um, TikTok. Archie. Facebook. Archie always wants to be in yeah. on this. Part. Archie wants to be in, yeah. <laughs> have a great week and I love you. Sort of, kind of. Bye. Bye.